Question number 7. By sketching suitable graphs, show that the equation e to power 2x equals to 6 plus e to power minus x has exactly one root. Okay, so a quick sketch. Let me just do it over here. So, yeah, so first e to power 2x, so this is 1. And this would look like this. Closer and closer to... Uh, the x-axis e is to power 2x then 6 plus e is to power uh, minus x so when x equals to 0 this would be 7 so let's say 7 is over here let's say 6 is over here and e is to power minus x would look like this Hang on a second, just getting closer and closer to this is not connected. So, yeah, and the point of intersection is over here, so it has exactly one root which is in the first quadrant. So, part one is done. Part 2, verify by calculation that this root lies between 0.5 and 1. Okay, so this is not exactly a perfect sketch, but say so, here, yeah, so e is to power 2x, let me use a different color, e is to power 2x equals to 6 plus e is to power minus x. You bring everything on one side, so this would be... 6 plus e is to power minus x minus e is to power e is to power 2x so when x equals to 0 0.5 the answer is 3.88 and when f equals to 1 your answer is minus 1.02 so you write that due to sign change it's verified that the root lies between 0 0.5 um, and 1 part 3 show that if sequence of values given by the iterative formula converges then it converges to the root of the equation in part 1 so, yeah. so first you remove n plus 1 and n so this would be x equals to 1 upon 3 ln 1 plus 6 e is to power x right 3 goes over there this becomes 3x equals to ln 1 plus 6 e x we shift all ln on the other side this becomes e is to power 3x plus 1 plus 6 e x we break e 3 x into e is to power 2 x times e is to power x equals to 1 plus 6 e x you take e x on the other side so this becomes e upon 2 x 1 upon e is to power x is e is to power minus x and 6 e x upon e x is 6 and this is the equation given to us in the first part. Part 4 uses iterative formula to calculate the root character three decimal places. Uh, give each, uh, each res result of each iteration to five decimal places. So you take any initial value x1 equals to say you take it as 1 and then you place it in the equation and then you keep getting uh, your, and, and then you keep getting iter uh, iterative results till uh, till the five decimal places stop changing let me just do the first two okay so when x equals to one your second result is zero point nine five zero four two place this result back into the formula and then you get zero point nine three four eight seven you again plug it back into the formula 
you now get 0 0.93001 you place it in the formula again you now get 0 0.92 eight four eight and again zero point nine two eight zero one let's hope this one is it zero point nine two seven eight six and then again zero point nine two seven eight one and zero point nine two seven eight zero and this is at zero point nine two seven eight zero so all five decimal places stop shifting so your root supposed to be correct to three decimal places is 0 0.929